assalamu alaikum friends and followers today i am going to talk about an important topic and that is the block theory what is the block theory like one can ask a question how the fueling in aircraft is done is it the same as we fill in the tank in our car and drive place to place no friend it's not like that so the people who are working in aviation, especially in flight dispatch and control, in that case, we they must be aware what I am talking about. But I would still go ahead and explain for those who are either new in aviation, or maybe the people they just want they are some curious and they want to know how the fueling is done in aircraft. Okay, so friends, let's assume that we have a flight and departing from Karachi all right and uh, it's the destination is Lahore but the thing is that Lahore because of the some weather or airport condition it's it is impossible to land at this time so the flight has been diverted to the Islamabad and it is um, it's landing at Islamabad after after some holding time so we need to calculate the total fuel for this flight we need to know what are the fuel factor that we need to consider in order to have the fuel in tank of this aircraft right the block fuel is normally called a total fuel in air tank before engine start a block fuel is total flight plan fuel and some of the following what is the following taxi fuel trip fuel contingency fuel alternate fuel and final reserve fuel so we will go through one by one all of this so just stay tuned now what is the taxi fuel the taxi fuel is a consumable fuel from engine point the point where the engine start until aircraft reach to the runway for takeoff but not only that don't forget we we have the apu auxiliary power unit which provide which need a fuel in order to provide air conditioning fuel for engine to start right so every or these kind of things we need to consider for the taxi and sometimes the taxi is heavy because of the heavy traffic air traffic so many departure arrival going on one of the condition is de-icing right so as soon as the aircraft is ready for the departure the de-ic thing is comes up and provide the de-icing and the apu engine is running apu is on so all this the captain or flight dispatch consider these things uh, before the takeoff and this all fuel consumed for this activity is called a taxi fuel it's, it is considering within the taxi fuel okay the next is trip fuel Trip fuel is basically is a fuel required from for, for a trip, right? Point A to point B. But what determines the trip fuel? I mean, what exactly to point A and point B? So the aircraft, when we talk about the aircraft, so the, the, the trip fuel is considered at the takeoff, number one, and the climb. You're climbing to the cruising level, right? And then cruise flight, whatever the flight time is at the cruise. 45 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, 14 hours, the cruise flight, and then descent, and then approach, and then finally land. So all together is is called the trip fuel from takeoff until you land. Okay? So this is the trip fuel. Third, contingency factor. And we know that the flight is not simple as we see there are so many factors will cause delay one of them or not the top of them is the weather while we are planning the flight the weather condition the wind may shift during the flight right it may cause delay to the flight we will see more contingency maybe in other video but for now, so trip fuel is basically 
uh, uh, contingency fuel sorry contingency fuel is the five percent of the T fuel or the five minutes of extra flight weight flight fuel number four alternate fuel as we have seen in the previous slide the aircraft is departed from point A ideally supposed to land on point B but because of the weather condition maybe or maybe some incident happen at the point B the destination aerodrome the flight was not able to land and it was diverted to the point C the flight required some extra fuel to accommodate point C right so it includes the misapproach when you're trying to approach the destination aerodrome it's include the climb it include the cruise cruise flight from point b to point c and it's include descent approach and land so in other words from the miss approach until we land to the point c it is all considered as alternate fuel the dispatch or the captain calculate identify the alternate aerodrome and calculate the fuel for that all right so number five is final reserve reserve fuel the final reserve fuel what happened if the day is going very uh, and not not going in your favor right you you diverted to point c now you're trying to approach a point c but you know what the aerodrome is closed because of the local incident the runway is closed and the pilot the ATC or the tower is is basically the flight is directed that hold in the holding area for a few minutes, right? So you need to have some extra fuel in this condition. It is regulated by the law and must be a minimum 30 minutes flying time at a 1500 hour aerodrome at the holding speed. Now, so this is this all five factors make a one block fuel. All right. So now, by definition, we know that a block fuel is a total flight plan fuel and the combination of the taxi, trip, contingency, alternate, and final reserve fuel. Hope you will you you would like this video, and it will give you some information about the fuel. Please stay tuned for more videos on the load control. Don't forget to share, like leave comments and subscribe if you have not done so thank you